the morning evening okay hi everyone today it is women's day and i thought let me just show you what i got because i went thrifting initially i went to go buy vinyls um which i wasn't like with prices but i was happy with what i got because I've always loved Nora Jones. I've always loved that album. And it was definitely something on my list of once. I went to a charity store to look for um, any inspirations, any vases and stuff. Um, so I did get stuff. But actually, I was there. When I left the house, I went to actually look for vinyls because my partner and i haven't bought vinyls in a while so we thought okay so this is the perfect day to actually do that and today's women's day so i had some pretty eyeshadow on um pink and i thought that would be cute i am i think i already showed you guys what i'm wearing i'm wearing a jean to jean thing um outfits with sneakers and yeah i'm just keeping it easy today so the first thing i got at a charity store that was on sale for um so everything was half price but if it was not written on this label then um it wasn't so i got this for it's 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 a chair well i'd like to think it's a chair because it was sitting on there was a teddy like there was a doll on it and i thought this was perfect or this was really nice or an, a, a nice touch to boho themed potties especially for kiddies and baby showers so maybe on the candy stand um and put like a, a, a cute teddy bear or a themed if it's a boho themed potty a themed teddy bear um there if it's mickey mouse if it's like a bobo mickey mouse party or Minnie mouse party then Minnie mouse would be sitting here but yeah so i just got this for deco purposes and it was going for 30 bucks so this was not half price because if it's written ms then it is the price that it is so it wasn't on sale but i mean it's a steal for um for events actually because no one else is going to have this i mean there's a lot of stuff i think more than anything you could put a vase here um there's there's a lot of stuff so when i saw it it had like this really creepy doll on it <laughs> um but it was cute to give me an idea to do this so this is why i got this then the second thing that i got which was on sale actually i don't know which one to start with but let me just start with this so this was initially 60 bucks but i got it for 30 because it was half price and i'm going to use this as a vase all right because i am trying to try different sort of vases for different events for different tables for different sizes of tables and shapes and all of that so i think um i've started well i am starting to to source these out um, I will show you pictures of what I've been seeing and what I've been liking lately. Um, so yes, this is one of them. Just needs, needs a wash. And then the second one that I got, oh, this is stunning, um, is this. All right. This can actually also serve as an ashtray because I can see that you can put cigarettes there. Um, but obviously, I didn't buy it for that. I bought it for either a candle holder. So you can put like those pillar candles or a flower vase as well. Um, those micro flower vases. I'm going to show you just now because I'm so excited with what I got. So this is 60 bucks. And the last one is this the same thing but this one i see it doesn't have the ashtray thing um 
it doesn't it looks the same it doesn't really this one's heavier this one has obviously the ashtray features to it this one this one doesn't but i both it's from the same place same company same number and same price so i got this for 60 bucks instead of 120 and i will show you my inspos when it comes to this so i only got two and i did think about because when we buy we obviously buy in tens or twenties and stuff um but i thought for events that are very personal very minimal maybe a table of 10 people i can get away with this because i could use all of this and probably get another one that looks like this and and this is it like this is it the curiosity charity store it's close to cresta that's where i got all these vases and stuff and i went to linden so that's where i got my vinyls i only got two it's a jazz one and nora jones right and that was like four something so being a vinyl collector is actually pricey but ugh, i love it like i love the whole journey of finding music and the whole um actually listening to music on a vinyl i don't know where to start with the story right because this story actually came about last night so last night i follow so i follow a lot of um florists right because i'm not a florist i'm self-taught and um i've been trying to do away with forms Foams are messy, they're pricey, they don't last, and I would really love something that's reusable, right? And I haven't really got into like the floral world to actually do proper research and stuff. So the people that I follow on Instagram and TikTok are my closest to learning, right? So um yesterday, I think I'll yeah, so I'll pop up some pictures here. Yesterday I came across something called um a frog pin or flower pin right and i've been saying i was actually telling my partner that like i'm really liking the whole minimal um thing where you put flowers here and it's not like a bush where one is like one down and whatever and you can use different um sort of uh flowers um stems i've been liking that look right so i'm going to share some of the pictures of the looks that i've been liking lately that i want to incorporate for em events people have been sharing this on tiktok and on instagram actually these right it's like a metal thing that has stems on it so i am going to show you how you use it um they're called frog pins or flower pins and guys yesterday when i came across this and what you can do with it um it's reusable obviously because it's steel and I'm really trying to get away with like the whole foam thing. I don't wanna buy foams anymore. Um, these are the stuff that I actually wanna start working with. So these are actually quite ancient. When I started Googling these and like checking it on TikTok and Instagram and like how people are using it. So a lot of florists actually go back to charity stores and look for these, right? Because I think you can buy it at AliExpress. Um, they go for like 25 Rand. I've just, I just don't have the patience, right? And the actual ones in South Africa, I saw two um, Japanese online stores where they sell like the they plants because they're quite serious about um growing their trees and stuff oh gosh they lose oh god they are loose yeah so there you can get them um but this in this size is 110 for one 110 rand for this one thing and i got it for 30 guys right so oh guys I wanted to scream when I saw it. I, I genuinely wanted to scream because I thought this would be a dream to get. Like, I didn't think I would get it the next day. So I think the thrift gods were with me. I even get things that I didn't expect to see like this. It was my first time at that store. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's in Linden. And I had told her that um, I need more of these if she has. And she said they've had these things like for years. They would stay for years. Um, they had about seven, but like out of nowhere, people are starting to buy these things. 
so i was like girl it's tiktok so she gave me because i gave i put my number there well i gave them my number to give me a call to buy more of these because i would like them in different sizes whatever so this is something that i want to start collecting so for example here it fits like a glove so you just put the stay like i don't know i have to figure out what you put here and then you put it there and then you put all the stems inside here but i'm going to show you guys right um so you can do that for here as well where the flowers are just i'll show you so she also gave me this contact um on instagram and she said uh maybe i'd be lucky because this person um sources these kind of things it's written brick and break bazaar bazaar yeah brick and break bazaar so i'll check that out and it's cute because i got it in this cute thing um so i'm gonna put my slips there because um you have to collect your slips because i obviously bought with the business card um yeah so guys like i'm so excited i am so excited for this <sighs> And it's the fact that I wanted it yesterday and I got it today at like a reasonable price. Like, yo, this is going to change the game for me. Like, I'm I'm really looking into um, expressing in in flowers, and this is it. These things are it. And I was so fascinated at like how these things are really being made. Guys, it's it's every time I have to decide on flowers for a theme, um, it's so deep. Like I wanna break it down one day because it it does sort of become personal and like it does take out your creativity as well. So, yo, guys, like yo, I could cry. Anyway, um, let me just go and eat and enjoy my Nora Jones um, vinyl. Um, with my partner we're about to eat now and then i think when i come back i will show you guys um some words i'm so happy i'm happy for the i'm just thrifting makes me happy it makes me happy because it's like treasure like you never know what you're getting and i always seem to be on the lucky side so yeah let me go eat i'll see you soon wanted to show you guys i had um this for uh, a bridal shower a couple of weeks ago and i loved it so much that i kept it but i kept it because i wanted to play i kept it because i wanted to play around with um the dried flowers so i used a foam here let's see i used foam I think you'll see it better so if you see closely let me just try zoom there's some fungi there um that's growing because of the foam um yeah so this is actually one of the reasons why 
I'm not a fan of foam. It's just messy. It's just a lot to deal with. So yeah. So I actually took the flowers from here. I'm just going to put them back. So I'm done with the stuff that I needed to do, um, which is the hot air balloon. I've, I've done it over a few days. Um, yeah, I think in two days because I was out of electricity. So I finished it off today. So the point of me doing this, actually, I wanted to do a giveaway. Um, I also wanted to trial um this again because it's not the first time i'm doing it um i just there's just something that i'm doing that i'm not doing right so i'm trying to figure it out and if it means doing an actual hot air balloon from scratch just to figure it out then i'll do that i'm on the fence about it i'm not entirely not happy with it i just feel like there's something I need to do i don't know if i'm supposed to do the 12 inches more and the five inches less yeah so it's just a bit of trial and error on my side i think i'm gonna end the vlog here i feel like i'm blabbing um i hope i covered everything actually there was nothing educational here i just wanted to show you a few um days or weeks in my life um it's not really a realistic one because I didn't put my kids in it. Um, it's really based on the fact that, that my kids are not around. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed it and hope you subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.